The four things that we looked at that were very important for um, surgical decision making in older adults are going to be cognition um, and delirium risk, um, mobility and function, nutrition and surgical decision making. Of the six geriatric specific predictors that we included um, in these four outcome models, um, we found that the strongest link um, and the highest odds ratio, uh, or odds risk of having postoperative delirium is preoperative cognitive dysfunction. I think that one of the things that when we're trying to take care of patients is that we really want data to know how they are now and how they're going to do. And this calculator uh, builds on the ACS uh, risk calculator where we were able to predict SSI, uh, UTI, readmission, important things like that, but also now adds on very important geriatric variables. So I think one of the most important things for me is delirium. So we can predict when the patient's having to, gonna have delirium or and we can prepare for it and we can let the patient know and we can let the family know. These are the things that are likely to happen, these are the things that are unlikely to happen. It improves cal uh, communication and it improves the quality of care that we can offer the patients. And hopefully the patients will have better outcomes. When we add a geriatric specific uh, risk predictors to those models, it actually made the calculator better. It made it more accurate in predicting the four geriatric specific outcomes. I think that overall, uh, if people want to give better care to their older adult patients, and I think virtually everyone has these patients that they're taking care of, there are two things that they could do. Number one is use the geriatric risk calculator. It's available on the college website. And number two is the geriatric surgery verification program, or the GSV.